Hey everybody. On uh, this video, this will be my second attempt here at this uh, American 5360. Uh, it's a used lock I got on eBay on accident. I um, just put a, put a low bid in, expecting to get outbid, and hoping to get outbid, and then got notified a few days later that I didn't get outbid. So, here it is. And I uh, tried to pick it, and I had a lot of trouble with it. Couldn't really get any feedback or get anywhere with it. So I uh, lubricated it with some tri-flow. You know, I think I just got a false set. So maybe the tri-flow helped. Yeah, I dumped it out of the box here a few minutes ago. And, um... 30 minutes ago, whatever, and the key came out of rattled, so I didn't go fish into the packaging. It's supposed to have a key. Okay, now I just lost the false set, so maybe I'm actually kidding someone this time. Some of these, you know, try from the front and they don't work. You know, you go to the back and start from there. And then you have a short pin at the back. And long pins in front of it. You know, if the, if the key pins are serrated, I don't know if these are or not. I would assume they are American pins and assume they are, but it can be easy to overset them. And the springs are so weak in these that it's hard to get them back down. Okay, so I'm going to fall set again. Okay, I think I just set one. There we go. Alright, so the lubrication definitely friggin' helped on that as I, uh, I, I spent six or seven minutes without it lubricated and got absolutely nowhere. So let me see if I've got a key here. Ah, jeez. Alright, so there's the bidding. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Super high cut on pin five, and then a super long cut on looks like three. So, yeah, starting at the back was definitely the ticket there. And this should be Phillips screwdriver. And I believe that one will be a spool, I think. I don't know about any of the rest of them. Fat. This one. That work. Let's see. It's got an anti-bypass wafer on it. Cool. And since I've got a key, I'm gonna lock it back and I'll wipe the nastiness off of it here. Those good stuff for uh, lubricating locks. But when you do on your house locks, you want to be careful because it does free up all the shit that's in them and it comes out on your key and you get on your clothes. And turn it this way. Okay. 
Also, von der Pinsel. <lacht> Oriented. So that's why I see I'm starting at the uh, at the back and coming forward. Lies not overset those other long pins in front of that one. There's my other twist I was looking for. So we can get the uh, top. Actually, I'm going to go pin five first because I stuck the follower in the wrong way. So, um, this will be pin number five, which is going to be a serrated pin. Pin number four, serrated. Three, serrated. So two is actually a spool. I think one is a spool too, I think. And that shot out and I did not see. Oh, it didn't fall out, okay. Yep, so one and two are both spools. And the rest were all serrated and these are just gonna be regular American springs here. Nothing special about the springs, they're just stock American springs. So yeah, I was right about number one being a spool, number two is a spool as well. And they're actually spools over short key pins, so they actually act like spools for a change, which is cool. I've run across a lot of these that the spools are over the long key pins and they don't even act like a spool. But, um, anyway, so that's uh and oh shit, I just lost the camera. So that's gonna be an American 5360, picked and gutted. Now that'll do it for this video, and uh, we will talk to everybody later.